everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Are you a member of the book club? Being a member, joining my live book club hangout is free and will give you the book, the audio book for free to check out the end of the video. I'll show you the new book and I'll give you all the information, okay? Today's expression is really good. It is to be at someone's beck and call your beck and call. I'm at your beck and call. I'm at nobody's beck and call. I'm at my boss's beck and call. You should be at my beck and call. What does it mean? Well, beck, B-E-C-K, is the short form of beckon, B-E-C-K-O-N. And to beckon actually means to request that somebody come to you, to ask for somebody, to ask for something, to beckon. Call is the same thing. Hello, John, I need you, John. I'm beckoning for John, I'm calling for John. It's the same idea. So the expression to beck, and no, I'm sorry, uh, at your beck and call is redundant. It's the same thing. What it means is Basically, you are somebody's slave. You must do whatever the person asks, whenever, however, you do whatever you can. So, look at Coach Shane. Do you think Coach Shane is at somebody's beck and call? Do you think I'm a slave to someone? Yes, I am, unfortunately. No, not my mother. No, not my mom, not my dad, not, not my family. Nobody, nobody in my family. My cats, specifically Minty. When Minty meows, meow, uh, I go and serve. Whether it's food, water, playtime, petting, uh, whether it's running around, cleaning the cat box, whatever Minty wants, I do it. I am my cat's slave. I know, it's silly, I'm a man, come on, be a man, be powerful, but I have a weakness to my cat. Cass too, but Cass is more like me, Cass is relaxed, but Minty, oof, no, Minty is demanding, very demanding. Like the Queen of England. Oh, there's a good example. The Queen of England has many people at her beck and call. There are many people below her who are ready to do anything she says. Oh my, my fingernail is a bit dirty. Somebody please clean my fingernail. Oh yes ma'am. Oh, 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 oh. God save the Queen, God save the Queen, and here is the Queen's fingernail. <laughs> Off with his head. Are you at anybody's beck and call? Check out the dialogue. Can you bring me an ice cube? I'm not at your beck and call. Uh, no, you were just... Go get it yourself. Yeah, typical situation in many families, two brothers. Uh, one, now the situation in my head here is one brother is in the kitchen, the other brother is watching TV. Can you give me an ice cube? You know, an ice cube, a piece of ice to put in my drink. But the other brother, I'm not your slave. I'm not at your beck and call. Get your own ice cube. And the other brother's like, well, yeah, you're not my slave. You're not at my beck and call. It's just you're in the kitchen, so the ice is next to you. Can you be nice? But you gotta be careful. If you always ask somebody to do something, always, 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 they're gonna hate you. They don't wanna be your slave. Now, some people don't care. Some people are loving, some people are giving, especially mothers, they're pretty nice about doing things for their kids and their, their families. But uh, not everybody. So in the family, beck and call, yeah, it's pretty common. But what about at work? Are you at your boss's beck and call? If the boss says, jump, do you say, how high? Or do you say, no, you jump. Or 
Ask Dan. Dan's a better jumper than me. What, what do you do? Are you at your boss's beck and call? Yeah, most people... Yeah, we are. I mean, if you work for somebody, the boss is the boss. And you're at his or her beck and call, usually. It happens. You want to keep your job. You want to keep that money rolling in, pay the bills. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's sad. So you become a slave, and we all are a slave to something or someone. We are at somebody's beck and call, probably. So think about you. And think about the people who are uh, above you. At, at least, you know, maybe they're the same as you. But anyway, you are at their beck and call. And is anybody at your beck and call? Really? Yeah? Me, is there anybody at my beck and call? Mm, no. I think everybody ignores me. Nobody does anything. But that's okay. I'm free, except for my cats. Ah, my damn cats. Minty especially. Minty, 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 yeah. All right, beck and call. To be at somebody's beck and call, uh, whose beck and call are you at? Are you like the Queen of England? Do you have many people at your beck and call? Leave a message down below. Please check out the dialogue a, a couple more times. Please practice with a friend and come back and find out how you can get a free audio book. Can you bring me an ice cube? I'm not at your beck and call! Uh, no! I, you were just- Go get it yourself! Can you bring me an ice cube? I'm not at your beck and call! Uh, no! I, you were just- Go get it yourself! Can you bring me an ice cube? I'm not at your beck and call! Uh, no! I, you were just- Go get it yourself! We have a book club and we get together every week. Actually, next week we're not getting together, but we are starting a new book. And this book is great. I'm really excited about this book. It's called The Power of Vulnerability. And yeah, it's one of those self-help books, self-help books. But actually, for ESL learners, it's my experience, and this is from my experience in learning Korean, the Korean language, the easiest books to understand quickly are self-help books. I'm not joking. Fiction? That's really tough. There's lots of vocabulary. There's lots of special areas. Nonfiction, same thing. If it's your area, biology, then it's not too bad. But if it's a different area, politics, it, it's really difficult. So, yeah, fiction and nonfiction are good, but it depends on the book. It really does. However, self-help books, self-improvement books, uh, personal growth Things like this are actually pretty easy. Uh, not easy, but they're the easiest to understand for adults, for adult ESL learners. Um, so, yeah, so this is the new book that we are starting, and I'm very excited. And at this address, you can get the book for free. That's right. This is an Amazon company. They have, like, 17 million audiobooks. No, they don't. Uh, couple hundred thousand audiobooks and what you do is you sign up here you sign up and then you can choose the book that you want if you want to join our book club I want you to choose uh, this book okay the uh, the power of vulnerability uh, by Breen Brown is it Breen or Brene I don't know but anyway M Ms. Brown has written a great book, and, and this is, I'm not joking, it's a really good book. I have the book, I started listening, and it's in six parts. So we'll probably take six weeks to study this book, uh, one part each week. And the first week assignment, I'll give you the assignment right now, is listen to the first hour, the first section. The first section is one hour. Listen to it several times, and if you are interested in the subject, if you have something to say or a question, 
send it to us. So we have a book club and this Santa Raisin is our book club coordinator, the manager of the book club. And Santa Raisin will take your name, your email, email Santa, and put your name in our email list. So every week when we have a newsletter, we send out an invitation, we send out a discussion, we send out lots of information about what we talk about in the book club. The book club gets together every Thursday, not next week, but usually every Thursday at lunchtime, 12 o'clock noon, Los Angeles time zone. So PST, Los Angeles, LA time zone, lunchtime, that's when the book club gets together. Now this could change, you know, maybe next year, 2016, it might change a little bit, but for now, the rest of 2015, that's it. Uh, so if you sign up, and once again, here's the address, audibletrial.com slash LME, LME, Let's Master English. Uh, this is a sponsorship site. So if you sign up, you don't have to pay anything, nothing. But they will ask your credit card information. So you sign up, you get the book that you want, and if you like the audiobook, if you like the book club, then stay a member. And if you stay a member, every month they'll charge you $14.95. Okay? You have to pay that every month. But then you get a book. Any book you want. So for example, The Power of Vulnerability is $26. That's expensive. $26 for an audiobook. But I'm a member of this audibletrial.com slash LME. I'm a member, so I only paid $14.95. Yeah, so I saved almost, uh, almost half the price of the book. And there are many other discounts on books, so being a member is a good thing. But they will charge you $14.95 after one month. So you can sign up, get the free book, join the book club, get the newsletter, see if you like it, you know, do it for two or three weeks. If you like it, great, stay with us. If you don't like it, cancel your membership and they won't charge you. It's simple. You're not gonna lose anything. Uh, if you like it, there's nothing but gaining. You're gonna gain. Uh, the book club is great. The members are, are oh, lovely, fantastic members, great talkers, and it's lots of fun. And it's, the book club is free. You have to have the book, of course, but then you get an hour uh, a week with me and uh, everybody else. So, yeah, join. Get the book for free. Once again, it's a great book, The Power of Vulnerability. Uh, to be honest, when I first heard this is the book, I was like, mm, okay. But after listening to the, the first part, wow, it's really good. I like it. And I think you will too. Remember, audiobooks are not super easy. You have to listen carefully, and this book will require you to listen. Oh, and by the way, some students get the audiobook and the textbook. I recommend just try the audiobook, but if you need both, that's fine. Get the book, sign up for free, get the book for free, join the book club. If you like it, stay with us. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye.